Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. We are live here at ITW 2023. It's an exciting time. I can feel the energy. Welcome to ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV, the official broadcast of ITW 2023. We are coming to you live from National Harbor. This is in Maryland, but right across the way from DC. Exciting time of year with an exciting place on the map here, welcoming the international crowd. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Joining me on this expo floor, my dear friend, Mike DeVito, Chief Commercial Officer of Tonaquint. Mike, welcome to JSA TV. Jamie, thank you. Great to see you. It's been a long time since we've seen each other in person, so happy to do it here at uh, ITW. Once again, I think it's my 17th or 18th, so yeah. dating myself there for, no, the, for I, the audience. I don't think so. you missed one, right? <laughs> I've been to a lot of them. Previously GTM. Previously GTM, right? Yeah, that's right. Now I remember when they were at the uh, the Wardman Park Marriott. Oh yeah, yes, those I remember those days. Yes, yeah, I do yeah. remember those. I drew a nice little coffee, coffee. Uh, Miss out, those yeah. days sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've known each other for quite some time, but this is your first time on JSA TV. It is, and thank you for having me. Thank so you for our viewers who just might not know already, but we're going to correct that wrong right now. Can you tell us a little bit about Tonaquint? Certainly. Uh, thanks for asking. Happy to Tonaquint Data Centers is a, a hybrid IT provider. Our focus is very much on enabling, uh, let's say the full hybrid cloud journey for our clients, both colo, private cloud, managed disaster recovery, backup, and of course, interconnection. We operate meet me rooms and heavy on the interconnection side. Our focus, I would say, is very much on mid-market enterprises in regional markets. We find these clients need our white glove approach. They don't have a lot of extra resources. They need a, an approach of consultative engagement and of partnership, quite frankly. So we love working in those markets and very intimate, very close relationships. So really looking forward to that. We are currently in St. George, Utah and in Boise, Idaho. And recently, uh, earlier this year, Gift Capital Partners uh, uh, made the acquisition of Tonaquint. So we have a $16 billion infrastructure fund behind us. So very excited about that. Ah, great. You got that stability. You got that hot, huge demand in those uh, tier two, tier three markets. Can you tell us a little bit about what's driving that demand? So it's interesting. Like I think, A, we're lucky in our industry. We're in an industry of growth, right? right? And in the NFL cities, Ashburn, Dallas, Chicago, Santa Clara, massive growth. But also part of that growth is in the so-called regional or tier two markets. And I think part of it is driven by the model that we're in, right? So much in the same way that, let's say, large airline hubs drive more regional demand in, let's say, secondary markets, I think the data center business very much tracks with that from a logistics point of view. And we know that a lot of folks are, are moving, right? We see population migrations to tier two and tier three markets, um, maybe a more relaxed lifestyle or perhaps the pandemic driven remote working policies, all the above. Right. But we see a lot of growth in these markets and there's some really fabulous regional markets out there today um, in many parts of the country. We are currently focused on predominantly, let's say the mountain west states and the southwest, but that we think there's a lot of upside in both. So, and we find that the clients we work with there again, like they, they, um, they're, they're committed to those regions. They're very significant in their own region, perhaps not uh, on a uh, wider national scale, but certainly in their regions, very, very important, very significant. So we love working with them. Uh, Mike, I love that. And, and talking about all this growth, what's on the horizon for Tonequin, say over the next year or two? So it's an interesting uh, situation for us. So we, we want to scale our business, uh, but we also want to keep our focus on that client intimacy. Yeah. So I think one thing for us is to continue our knitting, uh, to continue to, to give strong performance in the swim lanes that we're currently in, and at the same time, grow our product base and grow, frankly, our our scope, those clients that we that we can work with on a geographic basis, whether that be uh, a private cloud workload, a, a cola workload, or what have you. So uh, we have to thread that needle to continue that that top flight service for our current client base while we continue to acquire more. I think you'll see us um, work very hard to, let's say, wave the Tonaquin flag outside of our core markets. We're not very well known. I think you'll see us do a lot of work with the channel community to try to get more uh, more of a relationship with, with that very esteemed audience and to get our name out there via indirect means. And also, I think you'll see us grow, frankly, our direct sales force uh, and really look at for a go to market that's that's beyond our core flagpole basis, if you like. So I love that. I All I hear is strategic scaling from you. It is. And, and it's always a trick uh, because you don't want to lose your focus on the clients you have now. And and you want to lose you don't want to lose your 
your your expertise. You don't want to try to be everything to everybody. But we see a lot of market opportunity out there to grow our base and probably to add a few more, uh, let's say, services to our kit bag. Uh, unbelievable. Okay, so I'm sure our viewers have one question on their minds. Where can they go to learn more? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, please go to uh, tonaquint.com or look us up on LinkedIn or my numbers are all out there, my email address. Call me or write me. I love it. I love it. Tonaquint.com, guys. T-O-N-A-Q-U-I-N-T.com. Definitely, That's it. definitely check them out. Mike, Please check us out. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV. Happy networking.